<laughs> What's that way? Probably a Is it? social trail. Yeah. It's not a 16.4 though. What? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, well. Yeah. Five miles in, I thought we wouldn't see him, so I don't know. That closer to Table Rock. It's about 40 miles away, I guess. Ish. In two miles, it'll be. And hopefully, we'll wrap up in three days. It's pretty good. So guys, the funniest thing just happened. So yesterday we passed this, um, this, this girl yesterday who was finishing up her hike and she actually like, she had two pieces of candy left. It was Halloween um, on Sunday. So she started on like Halloween Eve. I'm uh, going to Pelham to break. But um, yeah, so she finished her up her hike today and we just got to this road crossing and my dad's like, he just got new boots. And I don't know why he went on the trail with new boots, but he decided I'm gonna go hike 77 miles in new hiking boots that are also heavy. Um, so he was pretty much done. His feet were killing him, his back, his shoulders. He was, he was struggling, didn't get much sleep because he didn't test out on the sleeping pad and it went flat on him. So, but I was like, I'll, hit you, I'll get you a ride. Like, I'll try to hitch for you. No one, like, I'm a girl. It's easier for girls than it is for, like, 50-year-old dudes or whatever. Um, so, 
I spit my cup, my thumb out, like, while we were sitting down, but then I went closer to the road, and I didn't get a hitch from the first two cars, but then the girl that we saw yesterday, who finished up her hike today, pulled over, and she's like, what's up, guys? I was like, oh my god, so, yeah, be nice to the people you see, and uh, karma may just reward you, um, pretty funny, but now I'm off, off alone by myself, um, I have 52.6 miles according to the trail sign that I just passed to get to Table Rock. Um, probably gonna go another eight tonight whenever it gets dark, I suppose. I'm gonna try to huff it though, cause we've been going a little slow this morning. Um, yeah, so I just thought that was super funny. And I'll fill you guys in on kind of what went on yesterday. I didn't want to film too much because my dad was hanging around and I'm camera shy still. So anyways. Happy hiking. I also wanted to say thank you. I didn't catch her name and I wish I would have, but I'm sure my dad has it. Um, but thank you, girl from Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee, who picked us up. I'm sure my dad really appreciates it. And I'm happy he doesn't have to suffer anymore. Um, and I get to be out here by myself. It's supposed to rain, I think. It could rain tonight. It's looking at a 50% chance on Thursday. And I guess maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm gonna hope for the best. I have an umbrella and a rain jacket. It's in fact a rain pants. Um, kind of wish I would have. But well. But anyways, here we go. By myself. So I think I just like puffed up this nameless mountain. And there's like I'm pretty sure I'm on the top because there was nothing over there. And it doesn't seem like there's anything in front of me. And according to the map, I'm supposed to go down now. But I'm not quite on the top top. So I might have another, like, a little bit of a elevation gain to go. And then I'm just going to dip down and hope I can get to... Um, complete another seven or eight miles left, uh, for the day to get to camp before sundown, which has been like 5.30 or 6, so not too concerned. It's only around 1 o'clock right now, but I do want to make sure I have enough daylight left and the thing of being out in the woods at night hiking. <laughs> So, it also makes it harder to find a campsite. So, hopefully I won't be dry camping either. Alright. Protein powder. Protein shake. Have to get the spoon out. It's an acquired taste. So I'm not too far past the place where I got water in the previous clip, but my God, <laughs> the moment I left, it was like. Here's a, a rugged ass piece of trail for you. Not what I was expecting. I was just expecting to kind of go down 
the whole time, but these elevation maps don't always show you what you're getting into. So at least it's pretty. <laughs> hopefully we just, hopefully it'll soften up a little bit. Just a little. It's so pretty. It's like golden hour, but it's three o'clock. And I swear it's just making all the colors pop out. Can't really see it as well in this um, video, but it's true. This whole hill is literally sassafras. Oh my god. How pretty. Fun fact, if you crack a leaf like that open and crush it, it smells like pretty pebbles. Like Toxley or Dracassia. I'd have to double check. Wow. Looks like we are coming up on a view. Also, update I've not gone very far from, I guess, wherever I was um, sitting before oh heck yeah oh my gosh Ooh. damn don't mind that bird just flew by i think it was a hawk wow it's amazing by view. Fortunately, I got to keep moving. We still all see it through the trees. Oh, that was such a good view. Wow. Really hope the weather is clear on Friday so I can see the good stuff from Table Rock and Sassafras. Little guy out here foraging. That is the South Carolina state border, so I'm in North Carolina into Hollow Wilderness. I don't know if y'all can tell, but oof, I'm going down some steep, steep stuff. Um, I was already descending from that mountain, but it was pretty nice because it wasn't too much of a steep decline or uh, descent. But, um, I already went down some, and I'm going down some more. So hopefully, you know, I'm kind of like a Goldilocks. I need it not too rough. I mean, I wouldn't take it. I don't mind taking it too easy, but in the middle, I'll do in the middle. That's fine. But, uh, yeah. I 
notice I was going to be passing into North Carolina probably today. Um, but that was exciting to actually see the South Carolina state sign. And I saw the Nantahala Wilderness or Hala Wilderness, depending on where you're from. And I knew and I love the Nantahala. Um, it's just an awesome forest in North Carolina. So here we go. Ooh. It's rough stepping. You really gotta pick your way <laughs> across and down. There you go. Thank you, trail people, for the uh, Boy Scouts. So, I started up there and came down here. And quick view of the forest. Pretty right. And we just keep going down, down, down. I think there's a waterfall down there. And then tonight I'll be passing a Corbin's Creek Falls. Um, or Corbin's Falls. It's like high water falls is what you might be able to hear. And then something is next. But I have to use both hands to get over this rock. You guys. <laughs> All these stairs. It's like a whole ass mountain. is pretty. Um, yeah, so y'all saw that last clip. That waterfall, definitely worth the water. Um, it's a good little waterfall, little water source. Um, it's definitely worth the 1.1 or the 0.1 uh, up the stairs. But there were <laughs> some curious people. Well, it's just a couple. Um, and they first asked, like, is there another trail down there? Or, like, waterfall? And I'm like, yeah, there's a trail and a waterfall. It's a hills trail or whatever. And both like the wife and the husband was like, what's that? I was like, oh, it's a 77 mile trail. Um, I'm gonna try to get it done in five days. And they kind of like raised their eyebrows and asked sort of all the typical questions. Are there shelters? Um, are you by yourself? Blah, 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 which you know, obviously telling certain people you're alone is a lot different than telling other people you're alone because like they're just little tourists looking at the waterfall. Um, but yeah, they were, they were a good conversation. I enjoyed talking to them. Super beautiful waterfall. They kindly snapped a photo of me as well. So that was fun. Um, I say so as close to me as they did though because I'm quite stinky and sweaty especially going after going up all those stairs Whew. I'll have to have a sweat on that one but I'm gonna keep on huffing I have to get like a mile or two done to get to this campsite or to find a campsite really I don't think there's going to be anything for a little while until I get down to the bottom of this mountain, I it seems like so. Oof, let's go. Look at all of them rocks. shit out here guys not cool and no one gonna come out here and pick that up oh my 
God. Uh, woo! Alright, this way. Oh no. Oh, I need a blaze. It's so pretty. Just. Oh my god. This trail, so I haven't really talked about. Look at this. How do you get down when you're five foot two? Because I'm gonna slide on my butt. Alright. That's why, uh. They're durable. But, uh. Ah. My lord. These rocks. Um, so I never got to, I started to kind of state how I was feeling right before I had to slide down the boulder and then I forgot what I was talking about. And then I started walking because it was getting a little dark. The sun was starting to set. Um, and then I found this pretty good campsite next to the river, but not like so close to the river. Um, but I don't like it. Um, I'm gonna have to cook and do all my camp chores, which I need to get better on doing faster. Um, but yeah, so in short, uh, from, so yesterday I was doing pretty good. Um, honestly I was feeling pretty tired and then my dad started kind of talking about his feet and his back and I was getting worried about him. So kind of worried and tired and overall I felt pretty good um I would say and then of course like when you're moving you have your endorphins flowing so I felt pretty good and then today of course I was like stiff and everything like that um when I woke up this morning and but overall I would say I'm still feeling pretty good like yesterday I would say I was getting kind of not really bored but maybe a little bit bored, if that's the right word. And then I wasn't like totally sure if I was gonna be able to finish this thing. Um, just cause like it's your first day, like there's a lot of miles in front of you still. So, but then like today rolled around. I, I feel pretty good about it still. Um, I'm a mile 30 something, so only 40 something miles left. Um, I'm under 50 for sure, so I'm not sure how far under 50 I am but I think that's a good sign uh almost halfway there so that's fun I'm gonna try to keep an eye out for it on my phone map and maybe write a little bit of a sign or something like that um but still feeling pretty good I'm gonna try to like stretch a little bit inside my tent um let me see but I'm in, I'm in my tent you probably hear the water behind me um but yeah um Anyways, so I think that's it for tonight. And thanks guys, keep an eye out for the next video. Remember to like and subscribe and follow for more. Thanks. Life hack for, maybe not life, but camping hack for anyone who is worried about condensation uh, potentially on their tent. I'm camped by a river tonight. So, and I was camped by one last night and I had a little bit of condensation you can see it missing up there, but um, put your rain gear on top of your down bag. I, I'm pretty sure they have covers specifically for sleeping bags, but if you don't have one yet and you've already owned these two things, then there you go. It's just your raincoat and or rain pants and uh, your pack cover, even if you don't really use it. I still carry mine just in case, but yeah. There you go.